Once again, we serving y'all salty niggas hot wings. And um, this is an article, man, that uh, from uh, Bad Left Hook. Okay, it's a boxing website. And as you can see on the screen, it says, Mac says he was drugged for recently released homosexual porn tape. Okay, this is a professional boxer. And he said, according to the article, that uh, he has no memory of what took place and must have been drugged when cameras were, were filming him with a three man uh, 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 with a uh, during a three man threesome. Okay, let me just read this right quick. Once again, we serving y'all salty niggas hot wings, man. Look at this shit, man. It says Yusuf Mack, okay, is getting a little buzz now, although probably not in the way he would have preferred. Mack has just surfaced in a sex tape, and not just any sex tape, but particularly graphic ones showing him engaged in a threesome with two other men. Man, listen to this shit, man. Mack, a father of 10 children and engaged to be married, and says he's strictly heterosexual, and this is all just one big mistake. Mack spoke with Janice Armstrong, a Daily News columnist, about the video, quote, my whole life, I've been what they call a whoremonger. I love females, Mac 35 told Armstrong last week. The only time I touch a man is when I'm in the ring fighting. <laughs> End quote. Okay? Now listen, man. What's the name of the lesson? We serving y'all salty niggas hot wings, man. And here it is, a professional boxer got caught with his pants down. Another quote from Yusuf Mack in the article, it says, I think it's about to go down. I needed a drink or something, Mack told Armstrong over the phone. They gave me a pill and a shot of vodka. I took the pill down with the vodka. So basically, on his way to the apartment, I guess, where all this was supposed to go down, um, basically, he was short on cash, and he was offered an opportunity to do an X-rated video Okay, he accepted the offer, took a train uh, to New York City en route to the Bronx. And it says he got inside an apartment where the filming was supposed to take place. And he noticed a number of naked women walking around. And that's when the quote said, I think it's about to go down. I needed a drink or something. Mac told Armstrong over the phone. They gave me a pill and a shot of vodka. I took the pill down with the vodka. Come on, man. If it was a whole bunch of women walking around, how the fuck you went? How the fuck you go from so-called allegedly hooking up with a female and then you end up with two other Johns? Man, we serving y'all salty niggas hot wings, man. I'm going to come out with one scripture. That's Leviticus 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Not only did he lie with one man, he lied with two men. A double abomination. Man, what's the name of the lesson? We serving y'all salty niggas hot wings, man. In this article, you can catch it on badlefthook.com. It was dated October 27th. And the end story, the man agreed to have a sex tape, I guess, with some so-called women or a so-called woman. And it was for $4,500. So... You went from Philadelphia to the Bronx, to New York to, to do a sex tape for $4,500 with the impression that you was going to be having sex with women. But then mysteriously, after a shot of vodka and a pill, you wake up realizing that you hooked up with two jakes. Get the fuck out of here. We serving y'all salty niggas hot wings.